Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium. Today we're looking at the behind the scenes of the um, skull shaped whiskey glasses commercial that you just watched. So in the last video, I talked about how 2018 was going to be a year where I challenged myself to do more content and different kind of things, experiment um, with doing things I hadn't done before. So uh, in that spirit, I reached out to a bunch of companies uh, that had a presence on the internet and offered to do commercials for them so that I could do a commercial uh, in a way that I hadn't shot before or a short film and then do behind the scenes. Um, people who make and sell these on Amazon were kind enough to send me um, some of their glasses to make a commercial of and I wanted to do sort of a bluesy, uh, performance driven Johnny Walker kind of um, setup. I had a budget of absolutely zero so I just threw something together in the studio with lights I already had and I filmed it uh, all by myself as a one-man crew. I was really happy with how this came out. Uh, I've never made an alcohol commercial before. Um, I do not drink alcohol, this was iced tea. I learned quite a few things that um, I'll definitely take on to the next project. I originally wanted to do slow motion, but then realized that if my fingers were moving in slow motion, I wouldn't be able to sync the guitar with the, with the, with the soundtrack. So we went back to 24 frames per second in RAW on the C200. I lit this, you know, I started with a, I know I knew I really wanted a really strong backlight. So I started with this little 150 watt um, tungsten that I have and then moved the quasar tubes into sort of the same space um, and even went um, redder with, uh, with the gel. So that it kind of gave a, you know, dive bar performance kind of feeling. I definitely could have got more atmosphere out of this uh, had I used this, my smoke machine. Um, this party machine that I bought for 20 bucks at the um, hardware store. But it was just one too many things to deal with. Uh, running the camera and the lights and being the talent was, was a little bit too much. So um, next time for the smoke machine. It would have been great to have a set for this and not have my filing cabinet in the background of this supposed blues bar, but um, I tried to mat it out in post, but it just looked weird with nothing there at all. So I, I darkened it down. So hopefully your eye pulls to um, where, the, where the focus is, uh, where the performance is. I didn't storyboard this. I just sort of like dove in and started looking for shots with the camera, which is an advantage, advantageous and disadvantageous. Sometimes you get really interesting shots that you never would have thought of, uh, like this one, the the shallow focus with the neck and the um, body of the guitar in one shot. But at the same time, I felt in the edit, maybe I could have had two or three more shots that would have been great, um, like maybe a low angle. Um, so, you know, it was good and it was bad. I do play the guitar, uh, but under the pressure of recording, it was very, very hard to uh, hit the hit the notes in the right way and do the finger picking and, and hit the chords. Um, so it took me, I have a whole new respect for um, professional musicians because even though I have, can play this song and have played it, you know, many, many times, once the camera starts rolling, uh, you're, it, it introduces a whole note of pressure and I kind of understand better what it's like to, to film musicians and how many times, you have to play a, uh, a song in order to play it seamlessly under pressure. It's like in the tens of thousands. This was just a little experiment. Um, love to answer any questions that people have. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there's a bunch more of these to come and thank you to Royal Decanters for sending me the product. Um, if you wanna buy something like this, there's a link in the description. That's it. I will see you next time.